Hi, I am Sahil from Sarafather.com and today we can see how to use Centora control panel. So you can check our previous video. We narrated how to install the Centora control panel and from this video I can show you how to use Centora control panel. So we are logging in Centora by username and a password. So first we can start from domain. How to add domain in Centora control panel. So it will locate it in home, domain management and domains. So create a new domain. You can just write your domain name here. My domain name is spiderfinder.in. So I'm giving the spiderfinder.in and click on a create. Now you can see spiderfinder.in and it's a pending. So now we can going into home again. And now we can see how to doing DNS entry in Centora control panel. So DNS manager. From DNS manager select domain we can go into select domain here you can see the domain name spiderfinder.in and click on spiderfinder.in click on add it and it's a very simple you have to just click on create records now you can see it's created automatically DNS status for domain spider dot spider finder dot in, dot in and here your DNS zone has been loaded without error it's okay if you had any kind of problem with DNS server then this signal is goes red it's give you the alert or a warning here with the error from here you can do add extra entries in a records a, -A, -A records canonical name records mx entries txt entries server entries spf entries and name server entries now we have a two name servers ns1.spiderfinder.in or ns2.spiderfinder.in now after that we can again go into domains and see it's a live or not but right now it's a pending so we have to wait for some time after it will goes live you can see the default page now it's resolving but page is not seems here once it will goes live you can see the default page of centora control panel now we can see the other option subdomain how to create a subdomain in the center of control panel it's a very easy you can just click on a subdomains now you can see the spiderfinder.in and click uh, you have to uh, write your subdomain like uh, blog dot spiderfinder.in create a new home directory it will create a new home directory here you can see unlimited this sign will show you you can use it unlimited you can uh, uh, place subdomains unlimited create it now it's created but again you can see here a pending so you have to wait for some moment so it will goes live. We can again go into spiderfinder.in. It's a pending. So we can move on the next topic. So after that, we can see how to add email address in Centora control panel. So you have to go into mailboxes okay we have to log in again so you have to choose your 
domain name from here you have to place is at the subdomain or main domain so here we can choose the subdomain oh sorry main domain spiderfinder.in and i am creating the info and our password is 1234 don't give the easy password if you give the easy password someone will hack your mail easily with guessing attack so take care of it now click on create so i think it's some kind of bug Here you can see our mailbox is ready. Info at spiderfinder.in. You can create any other mailbox. And again, we can check the domain if it's live. Yeah. Here you can see domain is alive. Now, if we refresh here on spiderfinder.in, you can see the default page. Of Centaura. Same way, if I write here blog.spiderfinder.in, so right now it's not available. So after after creating a mailbox how can we access our email so you can go from here webmail launch webmail and here info at the rate spider finder dot in and give the password and login from here you can compose your message so how to send your email address so you have to write it server father at the gmail.com and subject taste hi I am from serverfather.com and we can see how to send mail from Centora control panel and just click on a send now your message is send it successfully okay so we can move on the next topic if you want to forward your mail so go into forwards and here you can forward your mail address from here to from here so right now we are not doing this after that we can see file management after that we can see the file management how to configure file transfer protocol so click on FTP accounts now give the username I am giving the server password and full access you can choose it from here which directory you have to give the rights root or public html or use domain directory so from here i am use the domain directory and create it now we have ready the 
server username and read write permission and 1234 is our default password so after that you can use the filezilla in filezilla you you have to give the username and a password after you will give the username and a password from here hostname spiderfinder.in username server password 1234 and port is 21 quick connect Here you can see the index.html page. So you can use FTP account like this. Okay, we can go into another option. So after that we can see how to create a database in Centora control panel. So in database module, click on MySQL database and give the database name like WP and create. It's very easy. Here is our database name zadmin-wp. Now, if you want to create a user, how can you create a user? Go simple, go into MySQL user and give the name, username, so WP user and select the database and allow from any IP or only from a single IP address. So if you are giving the single IP address, then you have to give the single IP address, but I am allowing from any IP address create it now we have a WP user with a password this is the default password it automatically generated now you can access your database from PHP my admin when you click on PHP my admin launch PHP my admin here it will ask a username and password Okay, so you have to give the username and password, correct username and password for login. So, MySQL root password is here, we can copy it, root and password and login. After installation, Centora is generated a default passwords dot txt file which contain all username and password here you can see zadmin wp is here now we can move on the next topic so if you want to add any other modules you can add from here you can configure the module sections from here if you had if you have any modules you can install from here its extension is zpp you will also be able to give the permission which module will access administrator or resellers or users so this is the admin module PHP info you can able to see PHP information from here for full PHP information PHP version is latest 5.5.9 Ubuntu 4.5 you can see from here each information Now PHP sysinfo 
from here you can see the PHP sys info it's a loading here you can see the all information about server about hardware and everything now centora config here you can set your email address from server name log directories mail methods smtp or send mail whatever you want remote login forms root drives you can also give your ip address smtp authorization method so false mean it's a disable smtp password smtp port smtp server smtp username temporary directory you can configure each and everything from here you can see here center a daemon next time run last time run last day last week last month each and every thing is settings are here centora news here you can see the centora news update or any other news about centora you can find it from here updates here is the beta release 1.0.0 so do not use it for production so it's a beta version so they will give you the warning do not use for production okay now if you want to change your password go into account information and change your current password from here you will change your password from here now usage viewer from here you can see this space bandwidth domains ftp accounts mysql how much your system is usage you can see from here unlimited unlimited you have unlimited use of uh, ftp account mail boxes and domains my account here you can set your own information from my accounts your address postal address and your mail address now this is the best option of centora control panel you can take backup from here just launch it so how to take a backup from centora just go into home advance and backup click on a launch that's it backup now and if you want to download it will gives you a download option but i we don't want to download right now so we close window and here is the cron manager if you want to run some kind of script or a cron job you can set it from here so this is about how to use centora control panel and thanks for watching this video if you had any kind of issues errors or problems just comment it below the video thanks for watching this video i am sahil khan from servfather.com